Almost as soon as computers were developed, people found reasons to connect them. There's a lot of reasons why you might want to connect computers. And we're not going to get into details on that right now. But suffice it to say that connecting two or more computers and sending data back and forth between them is an extremely common thing. And over the years, several different technologies have been used to accomplish that. The very first technologies obviously involved a physical connection between the computers, a wire or wires. As we move forward in history, we got to the point we're at now, which is where a lot of connections between computers are wireless. They use radio signals to send data back and forth. What we're talking about today is a wired connection, and it's the most popular wired connection methodology there is. It's called Ethernet. Now, Ethernet has been around since the early 70s, so it's been around for almost 50 years now. It's an extremely stable technology, and it's a combination of both hardware and an agreement. Now, here's what I mean by that. The hardware is just wires, and they're specialized little connectors. You've seen them on the back of almost every computer. They look like a, a slightly larger than like a phone line might click into. And that's your Ethernet connection. The wire that plugs into that connection will eventually find its way to another computer. So what I mean when I say that it's a combination of hardware and standards is this. The hardware is the physical wire. How many wires are there? What's their capacity for sending data back and forth? That sort of thing. That's, that's hardware. And there's an exact definition for what Ethernet is. And if you want to get really nerdy, you can look that up. But that's the hardware part of it. The standards part of it is this. There's an agreement between all computer manufacturers as to how to prepare data for transfer along that exact type of device called an Ethernet cable and how to send it from one computer to another. So again, you don't need to do a deep dive into exactly how that works, what those standards are, where they're written up, but just know this. Anytime you're talking about networking computers, connecting computers together and transferring data, there's going to be some physical medium, some physical device that makes that happen. And there's going to have to be an agreement as to how technology, computer technology, uses that medium. And that's what we have with Ethernet. It's a cable. It's a physical wire. Connects computers together. It's constructed in an exact way. And the computers package data and send it back and forth along those wires between computers to accomplish data transfer.